Hey everybody, it's Bruce. In this video I'm going to unbox, assemble, and test this Atika BS205. Atika BS205. Bandsaw. 300 and, 370 watts. Well, I've been looking for a bandsaw for a while, but uh, I went ahead and bought this one because it's already opened and it was on sale for 83 francs from 120 normally. So I'm taking a little bit of a risk, I know. Hopefully everything's in the box as it should be and it works, but uh, we're going to open it up and find out. The fence. Instructions. Pusher, tools and hardware, looks like a cast aluminum table, Ta-da! Doesn't look like there's so much to assemble here. Atika BS205. Got the on-off switch here. Obviously this one's been used once at least. Actually I've never had a bandsaw before and I've only just used them a few times so I'm not too familiar with how to set them up and how they work. I think this is to tension the blade up top. Let's go ahead and open it up. Doesn't seem like it came with a tool to open this. This is just a plastic door, not so uh, sturdy feeling. This is a uh, folded sheet metal. Folded sheet metal. Looks like a cast aluminum wheel. Has a little brush on it up there. Another plastic door. I guess that doesn't really matter. I noticed on some of the videos they said that some of them had uh, things welded on or clipped on to help balance it. This one I don't see any such any such thing. And it looks like the blade is on the wheel, so I guess that's ready to go. Not really sure what tension to put it at. Let me see if I can figure out what's going on with these uh, with this bearing, because I think that's supposed to be touching the blade. Alright, so I've been playing around with it a little bit more, and actually now I think maybe that wheel is not supposed to go on this side of the blade. I think this wheel here is actually so when you're cutting, it has something to stop the blade from moving in that direction. So I'm going to push this wheel all the way almost up to it and then tighten it and then tighten it up a little bit. We'll see if all this works. It may not work too well. I may have to uh, actually read the directions or something. But And for this direction, it looks like, yeah, there's a couple of pins. I think maybe it needs to be a bit tighter, is my guess. See this pin here? This goes in and out. Let me rotate. There's a couple of Oh, there you go. There's some an Allen key here so you can loosen that and then move that. And I'm going to snug it up just a little bit because there's still quite a bit of space. Actually, this side is pretty good. I think this side needs to come in a little bit. Oops. Not really sure what this little plastic thing is for. Maybe if somebody's watching they can let me know what the purpose of that is. I figured out that this it lifts the head up and down so you know if you're working with something small you'll want you know as little as possible um, the blade exposed if you need to work with something bigger then you can bring it up up to whatever that distance and the second knob locks it down alright so I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, table on then give it a try
It looks like on the bottom there's just uh, four screws that, or four bolts that hold the table to this uh, rotating piece. And the rotating piece is adjustable with this knob here. Okay, I've tightened the table down. It feels pretty secure, pretty steady. Okay, seems to work. Maybe it's a bit wobbly, but I don't know. Let me, uh, let's try cutting something. It works. Cut quality looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna play around with it a little bit and I don't know, see how it works. Okay, I actually think it works pretty good. I feel like the blade speed might be too high, but I see no way to adjust that. Oh, in fact, the motor is connected directly to the wheel, so definitely, unless you slow the motor down, there's no way to adjust that. Um, I think the blade speed is a bit higher than it needs to be, but uh, otherwise, that's fine. Um, also, it's a bit wobbly. I can feel like the thing moving a bit, but really, once I'm down working on it, it doesn't seem to matter, so I think it'll be okay. I mean, like I was saying, I really have very little experience with... Uh, band saws. I've just done a couple little jobs with them here and there, but I've never owned one, that's for sure. Never had to adjust one or anything like that. And I think the cut quality is pretty good. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to how to use one of these, you know, just the eye-hand coordination skill, you know. Alright, that's pretty much it for this uh, unboxing, setup, testing uh, video. This uh, really wasn't that much, there wasn't really that much to do. I mean, I just plugged it in, put the table on, kind of looked over it for a few minutes and started cutting. Uh, I think it cuts great. I Like I said, I don't have much experience with the, with the bandsaw, but just being able, to, being able to make that notch like that so easily, that really, I think, is going to open up, you know, type of things that I'll want to do. Not that I couldn't do that before, but just that I could do it so fast and so easy. So, alright y'all, hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later. Bye.